this anchor because it's so big you really can't actually pull it, especially in those conditions. You actually have to use the motor of the boat to do it. And doing that, you use um, buoyancy to pull it up for you. And you have um, a poly ball, they call it, a big ball. And it rides down a line, and when the anchor starts coming out the bottom, it pulls the line up um, to the surface. And then when it hits the chain and the anchor, it's on the ball. So that has basically all the weight for you. Oh, it's right before the fish gun knot, seriously? I don't know. So it's found on the stringer or the rope, bro? The fish gun the rope. Before the stringer. Oh, the, the stringer. Sausages, are they gone? They're on the stringer. They're just the weight, the weight of the rope sank them now for now. I have to make sure, you know, it doesn't go in the prop while I'm doing it. So what you can really do is just keep going in circles or try to do it at a sideways angle. And finally, finally, it just came out of the ledge somehow <laughs> and the volleyball started falling back towards the anchor and that was great because I definitely didn't want to dive that again. Not only was it a waste of a dive at that point, but also it's just the conditions were not ideal for having to deal with that as well. So I drove until the poly ball was on the anchor itself, and then I backed down on it, and Ryan pulled it in. And then once we got the anchor up to the side of the boat, we all had to pull it up, and we got it in the boat. So we're happy we finally were able to do that. Basically, by the time we got the anchor up, uh, we realized that this ledge was far away from any other spot. So we knew we were going to have to run for a few hours at least. So we got the anchor in the boat and everything, and we just started putting towards the next area. So we decided to go on shore more to a wreck that was about 130 feet. An ideal uh, free diving spot. Try our luck with that. And uh, we actually drove for about six hours to get there. Me and Ryan switched off. We're about to anchor up on this wreck. By the time we got there, it was about the middle of the night. Uh, we threw anchor. Try not to throw it right on the wreck, so we'll be able to get it back. We're trying to get on the high structure, so we better free diving into the Let's Try and get it just right, marking the whole wreck up and everything. Know which part would be the best to land on. Putting a little extra scope out overnight to be safe in case something unexpected hit us. Yeah, we got up in the morning, uh, looked over the boat, this was good. The current was kicking a little bit, but not too, too much. So I put a line out so that way we get swept away is easy. Basically got our gear on pretty quick and uh, just started diving. Yeah, me and Ryan were staying in the same general area. We tried to go to the front of the boat so that way when the current pushed us we ended up towards the back of the boat so that way we, we'd lose like less distance. It was easier to get back. And basically he'd go down and shoot a fish. And then I'd go down and shoot a fish, you know, one at a time, like actual pattern to it. It's also a good way to do it it's safer, especially if you're doing deeper free dives like that.
I saw Ryan come up with the Almaco, so I started prepping up for my dive now. When I looked up, I was just above the wreck. I saw a school of Pelagics coming in, but nothing big right away. <laughs> Finally, I noticed a bigger amberjack coming in. I just swing up while fighting with the reel. I don't want to give him too much slack, but at the same time, I need to fight him and put pressure on him in order to tire the fish out. He was a good 60 pounds or so. Not a bad hammer, Jack. These fish don't pay much, but they weigh a lot, so it makes up for it. Drop down a second time. First, I only see Yamako's small amberjack. And when I turn around, I see some big, big amberjacks come in. Multiples over 100 pounds. Shot this one. I almost shot him in the brain, but still disabled him a lot. He still went crazy nonetheless. It's nice free diving though because once you get them up to the surface, they usually inflate with the air bladder, make it a lot easier for you. I don't gotta stay down there on a tank and fight them, so got him up pretty quick. Nice AJ. Gotta make sure these fish are dead, they'll beat the hell out of you.